As with so many areas of our lives, technology was disrupting education for the better before the COVID-19 pandemic. But lockdowns, furloughs and job losses saw online learning attract widespread adoption, not only for homeschooling, but also to upskill and reskill as employees and employers adapt to a new normal. To discuss the role of technology in providing greater access to education, we speak with Professor Anand Agarwal, founder of the online learning platform edX, which is a grant partner of the Macquarie Group Foundation through our COVID-19 donation fund. Education is a human right. Everybody should have access to education like the air we breathe. edX is using digital technology to make education accessible to everyone everywhere, no matter where they are, um, no matter if they can afford it or not. We launched edX in 2012, and over the past uh, nine years, we have transformed many aspects of education. Digital technology is key to it because it scales. The same course taught by some of the top professors in some of the best universities in the world or some of the top companies in the world are able to teach and teach to a class, not just of 30 students limited to a classroom, but to a classroom where the entire planet is a class, where some of our courses have a million students taking that course. And these are very engaging lectures and because they can scale, people don't have to pay high prices as they would if they were on a university campus. The past 18 months have been completely transformative for education. When the whole world hunkered down from the COVID pandemic and began to work and learn remotely, pretty much everybody, whether you were a faculty member or you were a student, you began to learn remotely. In the past, people were uncomfortable with online learning in many cases, but after the whole world went to work and learn remotely, people have tried it and they're much more comfortable with it. At edX, for example, in the month of April of last year, we saw a tenfold increase in the number of learners coming to edX than from the previous month. And in fact, in the month of April, we enrolled 5 million new people who came to learn on edX, which equaled the whole 2019 uh, year, where we saw 5 million people, new people come to edX in the whole year. I'm really proud of our partnership with the uh, Macquarie Foundation, where together we are reimagining how education works using programs like MicroBachelors and MicroMasters, where learners can complete skills-focused, shorter programs that they can then use as stackable components towards degrees or other forms of learning. There is no one-size-fits-all for education. Education must provide flexible on-ramps and off-ramps for learners as they go through their educational journey. Um, digital learning makes it much easier to do that, although one can imagine doing so on campus uh, training as well. Uh, with these flexible on-ramps and off-ramps, the idea is to create short modular programs like the MicroMasters that we have at edX and enable students to just complete a piece of a master's or a bachelor's if they so desire which they can complete in four to six months, rather than having to go to a campus for a full four-year degree. With these short programs, they could use it as an on-ramp and go on to complete a full degree if they choose. A digital technology makes it easier because people can do these shorter programs even while they are working or while they are at home or wherever they are in their lives. And the beauty of these on-ramps is that if they like something, they can then go to a campus and take on a whole much longer program as well. So digital technology is a key enabler of these modular flexible programs. But I think the future where we apply digital learning in much, much bigger ways and much more futuristic ways have the potential to open up learning in ways we've never imagined. Imagine if we could create personalized learning by using AI. Imagine if we could apply the latest in cognitive science approaches to enable learners to be able to grasp the material much sooner. Imagine if we could use AR and VR, augmented reality and virtual reality, to create online labs that have the fidelity of physical labs at very low cost and very engaging anywhere in the world. To me, the future is extremely bright and I can only imagine the heights to which digital technology will take us for learning in the future.